So we're building a new power plant, a geothermal power station with an output of over 31 megawatts. So currently the existing three small power stations generate, generate 25 megawatts. So with the current 25 megawatts plus the, the one that we're building at the moment, Northam will have the ability to generate just about all of their off-peak power locally from, from this geothermal power station. So once this plant's up and running, uh, we'll be self-sufficient for over 90% of the time and only those very high peak load times will we need electricity from the south. Well, I think one of the interesting things for me is that it's a renewable energy. So, um, you know, it's something I'm quite passionate about. I've done a lot of work on wind farms as well and I think it's something that, you know, it's, it's the road we need to go down for the future of the country. The work involves moving around a million metres of earthworks, um, some large drainage works, several kilometres worth of drainage works, a lot of services, uh, site roads and of course a lot of erosion and sediment control. From our perspective, it's not really a geothermal power station. We are building a very large flat area with another very large flat area about 20 or 30 metres higher up and a kilometre away and in the other direction another one a kilometre away in the other direction and lower. It is quite a challenging site compared to a normal geothermal site. But typically most of the geothermal power stations are down around the Taupo area where there's quite good ground conditions. We're up we're on our side up in north and we've got very challenging ground conditions. We've got landslips everywhere, uh, soft materials. Until last month the completion date was uh, still 15 months away. Last month we changed it to no, we're going to finish this year. So we're looking to finish a year ahead of original schedule. Um, that's largely driven by uh, Top Energy wishing to um, build their power station earlier. Well some of the things that really excited me about the project is just the, the collaboration between the client, the consultant and the contractor. Um, you know, we, we first got involved in this project through relationships with on previous projects and I guess we've already had that level of trust and, and, and built up and, and, and we knew that we liked working together and I think if you work with people you like working with you're going to do a better job. On this project Tonkin and Taylor's had a key role, they provide a lot of the geotech and civil design input uh, and have been managing the civil contractor on our behalf. So we've found them extremely constructive to work with, uh, they've been proactive, they've recognised the uh, imperatives that we have as a business to get the job done. If you're all on the, on the, on the same page and, you, and you're all got the same objective at the end of the day I think it just your chances of having a successful project are so much better. So, and yeah, for me, it's been it's been a pleasure to work on. Over my career, I have a number of projects that I see as my um, milestone projects. They are my legacy, if you like, things that I would be proud to tell my grandchildren about. This one will join that list. To me, the success for Tonkin and Taylor is so far. Touch wood, we have managed all the conflicting constraints and stayed on program and on task and still have a happy client.